the importance of comparing scripture with scripture. You have a lot of people out there who will say, you know, for certain doctrines, they'll say, give me one verse that proves the doctrine. Um, that's not how Bible believing Christians work, okay? We don't just base our doctrine off one verse. No doctrine in the Bible is contained in one verse. You compare scripture with scripture. And people will say, well, give me one verse, give me one verse. You know, for basically for the post-trib rapture or the pre-trib rapture, they'll say, give me one verse that proves it. Or for the Trinity verse Godhead thing, they'll say, give me one verse that proves it. Well, I, actually, I could give you one verse that proves that Jesus and the Father are one being. But a good way to prove doctrine is to compare scripture with scripture. So for the thing of Trinity versus Godhead, you'll say, well, give me one verse that says that the Father is the soul and the Holy Spirit is the spirit. I could show you that. Here's a good example of that. Galatians chapter 4, verse number 6. Because you are the sons of God, God has set forth the spirit of the Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So basically, the spirit of Jesus is in your hearts. What is the thing again? This, the Holy Ghost is the, the spirit of Jesus Christ. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse number 4. Or, uh, uh, yeah, 8, verse number 9, sorry. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So that, we, so that, it, so if so, sorry, if so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Not if it, now, if any man hath not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So you have the spirit of Christ in you. So, um, how does this prove that the Holy Ghost is the spirit? Is this like the spirit of the Godhead? Well, compare those two verses to First Corinthians chapter six, verse nineteen. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nineteen, it says. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, for which ye have of God, and you're not your own? Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. So I can prove to you that the Holy Ghost is the soul of Jesus Christ, or the soul, the spirit of Jesus Christ, by comparing scripture to scripture. We take Galatians 4, 6 and Romans 8, 9, which talk about the spirit of Christ being inside of you, and then compare that with 1 Corinthians 6, 19, which says your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. You compare scripture with scripture, and you build doctrine off that. You don't just base it off one verse. Like, Give me one verse. You don't do it. Now, what about the post-trib rapture? Or not post-trib, pre-trib rapture. Sorry. Uh, how do you prove the pre-trib rapture from scripture? They'll say, well, give me just one verse. And post-trib, as they often will run to Matthew 24, 19, which is funny because Matthew 24 is not even written to Christians. It's written to Jews. Whole other issue. But they'll say, give me one verse that yeah, proves the pre-trib rapture. I can't give you one verse, but I can prove it to you by comparing scripture with scripture. Let me give you an example of that. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. It says, as such were some of you, the context is talking about the unrighteous, unrighteous inherited in the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 11. As such were some of you, but ye are washed, and, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. So you're washed. Christ washes you in the Pauline epistles. We'll compare that to Revelation chapter 7, verse 14. It says, And I said to him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. You have a contradiction there. In 1 Corinthians 6, 11, Christ washes us, but in Revelation 14, or 7, verse 14, in the time of Jacob's trouble, they're washing their own robes. There are two contradicting passages. So which is it? Is Paul lying, or are we going to get taken up before the tribulation hits? Falsely, or for, for the time of Jacob's trouble, falsely called the tribulation. You see, you compare scripture with scripture. What is written in Revelation does not line up with what Paul wrote. We're, we're washed by the blood of Jesus in this dispensation, but in the future, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you're having to wash your own robes. So again, this is why you compare scripture with scripture, and you base doctrine off that. You don't just give, give one verse and base it off one verse. So I just wanted to do this quick video on the importance of comparing scripture to scripture and why you should base your doctrine off that. You can prove a whole lot of doctrine and refute lots of, lots of false doctrine by comparing scripture with scripture. So I just wanted to get that out there. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.